Hey everyone, thank you so much for being here. I'm Uriah and I'm going to talk to you today about how QB works, how funds are allocated, how the soul system comes into place. If you don't already know, please check out our previous tutorials on what QB is or just go check us out on the website. But QB is a home for the 3D community. And what we do is we enable the community to profit from their 3D skills. Anyone who's working with QB is utilizing our tools to promote themselves. But the superpower you get from using QB is you have the whole community behind you, which means, for example, if you have opened a print shop, you have hundreds of designer models on your print shop as your products that you can later sell. If you're a designer, you have a product page that you can promote and sell yourself, but you have hundreds or thousands of places to manufacture your products once they are sold. But how does it work with money? Well, when a payment comes into QB, no matter who made the sale, be it a designer, a merchant, a manufacturer, that payment is split up. So let's just take an example. Let's say a customer reached Mark, a 3D printing manufacturer with a QB print shop via social media. He got onto his print shop, he looked at his products or products provided to him via QB, and he found a really cool design. This sculpture made by Eden. So what happened was the customer paid Mark or he paid on Mark's print shop and he's going to get this product through Mark in no time. But actually the payment was processed through QB. We received that payment and that payment is split up. Every player on QB chooses their own fee. So Mark has his manufacturing fees, which our slicer calculates this product and knows how much Mark should get paid. The designer Eden who made this sculpture has his fees per sculpture, which is also included in the price paid by the customer. And let's say that this product was customized, the software developer also has his fee per customization. The customer sees and pays the total amount of all these service providers combined. To him, it seems seamless, but behind the scenes, it's split up between each member of the community. Every member of the community pays QB the QB fee. QB takes a 10% fee from any sale that you make, as long as you're using QB for free. If you're interested to learn more about QB subscriptions, just read about it on our website. If you have any more questions about how payments work on QB, how they're processed or how they're split up, please feel free to contact us, email us, WhatsApp us, whatever you want. We're here for you. Thank you so much for listening. Have a great day.